guys, Mtash here, and the new event shop is here, the new event is here, and it is much harder than the other stuff. Now, I would recommend, if you've got some fire characters, if you believe in yourself, I think that it is easier solo for this one. There's a lot going on, I'm going to explain why, but I think that this event is better done solo, with the lag, with the BS, with how hard the, the boss hits. I think that it's actually easier solo if you learn the mechanics. I'm going to go over those in a minute. First, I want to talk quickly about the event shop. Now, there's a lot of resin worth of materials here. So I do recommend doing this. Maybe don't burn yourself out in one day. But over the next few days, fight the boss a few times. Okay? Get these resources. But there's a couple to focus on. 100%. The crown. Do not miss the crown. Get the crown because there are not very many of these available in-game. And the longer you play this game, the more you're going to need these crowns. Uh, if you don't get them, you're going to be wishing that you did. If you do play this game long term, because they only happen during events for the most part. I've only got one of them on my account right now. I'll move my little head. You can see I've only got one of them on my account. This is the only one that was been in the game. Now we've got another, and then there's a third. So make sure you get it. Also, please, for the love of God, refine the sword. Just refine the sword. Buy these. You don't even have to level the sword up right now if you don't want to, but I would recommend doing that. But please refine the sword, okay? It is incredibly good. It is a super, super good sword. It's super valuable. And the other stuff is just extra gravy on top. If you guys want to put some time in and get some free resources, you can level up some characters. This is actually quite a few books, nine each. That is enough to get, you know, a talent upgrade in all of your talents with the blue books, uh, at, at, depending on what level you are, or even a big upgrade uh, if you're further in. Nine books is nothing to, you know, cry about. So definitely get that done. If you have time to get all the other shops done, I would as well, because there's a lot of great resources in here for you. But I just wanted to make sure that you get the crown and make sure that you're getting both of these Dragon Marrow. It would be a mistake. I think it would be a mistake to miss out on these uh, because the weapon is very, very good. All right, let's talk about beating this. Now, this is my team that I use for everything and against normal bosses, it's good to go. And against this, it was good to go. But I actually used a level 20 Amber and it was much faster. I'm going to go over that in a minute. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we've got three crystals we need to break. Killing a slime will drop a quartz. Now, you got to be careful because there are a bunch of these artillery strikes landing and they will mess you up. Don't be uh, caught standing still or you're going to die. Now, once you break all of these, it is essentially a cryo regisfine fight just like normal, but it is going to be a little bit harder. It is going to hit very hard, it is going to be much tankier, and it's going to take you quite a few more attacks than normal to break his little uh, his little bulb in the middle. Normally, with this many attacks, it would already be down, uh, but against this one, it's pretty annoying. Now, if you pick up those quartzes, you can actually do more damage, and that's cool. Uh, if you pick up those quartzes, it will give you a little burst of damage, and it will be easier to take out uh, the cryo core, if you will. Uh, but here's the thing, is after a damage phase, there's going to be a blizzard, and you're going to need to protect yourself by destroying a uh, crystal. So these crystals are near these brazers, which is great. You can go warm up, you can sit in here and heal, but you can also shoot out of it. You can use Venti's ultimate, you could use Amber. There are multiple attacks that will actually go through here. You can even send a Diluc ultimate if you want to, to weaken the core. Once that blizzard is done, you go out and the fight continues as normal. You try to kill this thing and you take it out as fast as you can. Now here's the thing. The main thing that slows you down in this is that blizzard. You can't be out here because you're going to die. So the faster you can take out the core and start the next DPS phase, the better. And so I honestly recommend bringing a level 20, a level 1 Amber, I don't care what level she is, but the faster you can break this core and actually DPS it and then burst it down, the better. Because if you take two or three phases of this blizzard, it's going to add minutes onto your time. So if you're trying to beat this as fast as you can, if you're trying to smash it out 21 times, you don't want to take three minutes each time. You want to smash this out, you know, as fast as humanly possible. So let's look at a team that's able to do that a little bit faster, even though they're not leveled, even though they don't have any major damage. Now, the nice thing here is you might not have Bennett, but everyone has Amber and everyone has Shang Ling. And honestly, Amber is the big one here that's going to save you time. Probably 30 seconds to a minute every run, depending on your damage, but she does save quite a bit of time, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. 
Now you're gonna burst down this bulb and do your first damage phase as fast as you possibly can. If you've got some Shang Ling, if you've got Amber Alt, whatever it is, you just wanna get to your main damage dealer, whoever it is, D Luke, Razor, whatever, uh, as soon as you can. Now, once you've done your DPS phase, that blizzard is going to start, but instead of just sitting there like a dumb baby, what you're actually going to do is you're going to use Amber to weaken the Cryo Regispine. By using her charge attack on his bulb in the middle, you're going to weaken it, and you're going to be prepping him for the next DPS phase. Now, if your aim is better than me, that's going to be good, but don't break the bulb right now. You just want to get it weak. So, that when you can run up there with your main DPS dealer, you can have the full duration of this, uh, this down state and get that full DPS in. If you down the Cryo Regisfine before you get up to him, uh, you're going to waste time running over and you might have to do a whole nother phase, which you don't want to do. You want to make sure that you burst him down here and finish it off usually in like a minute, minute and 30 seconds at most. Now, if you don't kill it in the first two phases, it really extends this fight. It probably adds like another minute on, which is pretty frustrating. So hopefully you have the damage to take it out. Honestly, this is one of those situations where I'd say, if you got some food items sitting around, get the extra damage. This is pretty tedious. Fighting this boss 21 times is very annoying. And seeing this, where he's got a, you know, a, a, a what is that, a seventh of his HP, an eighth of his HP, and it's going to take so much longer because he's so tanky when he's not in that down state, it is just brutal. And having to do this 21 times is very frustrating. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I go and I play um, with other people. It could be faster if you're on a crack team. If you've got some friends that are actually good at this game, I think it's viable. But there are so many people that don't bring the right characters for this, and unfortunately, that maybe aren't the best at dodging, and unfortunately, maybe don't understand the mechanics, and unfortunately, have a laggy connection, that it makes this much harder than it needs to be. It makes it very, very difficult when there's people lagging around and there's these attacks that can one-bang you or do a bunch of damage or you can't see the area of effect of it because of lag. I just don't know if I love doing co-op on this. If you are a competent player, if you are a good player, I would recommend just smashing at it solo, bringing a fire team, and you're going to have more success. Now, another small little tip is if you do kill the slimes and they're near the boss, um, if you can smash the, the pickup button and get the attack off, it does help with your DPS a little bit. It does help with taking out that core uh, a little bit. And so it's something you might want to do. There are some characters like Venti that might suck up a slime near it. If you are near it, just pick it up really quickly, do the attack, and get that extra damage off because it might be the make or break uh, for getting a one or two phase off depending on your damage. Klee, obviously a very good character here. D Luke, a very good character here. But also, if you do have a Bennett who's leveled up, use the Festering Desire. They're going to have bonus crit and bonus damage when using it. So if you're using the Festering Desire during the event, that's going to be another way to do some very, very good damage, especially if you've got some constellations on Bennett. He's going to be cracked. Even if you're using Albedo, uh, even, well, maybe not Xing Chu, but, uh, you know, Albedo is using Bennett with the Festering Desire. That's going to be one of the highest DPS in the game, especially if you actually uh, refine them and have leveled them up. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. There's not much more to say. It is essentially just the Cryo Regisfine fight. But just make sure you're paying attention to these blizzards because they can hurt you really, really bad. Uh, and, you know, it, it is pretty tedious. So don't burn yourself out trying to do this all in one day. Because, you know, depending on your speed, this could take a couple of hours compared to the 20 minutes of the previous uh, event. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.